Hey, hey, Kia ora Fano, you're here with me, the Māori Wargamer, and today we'll be playing a Warhammer 40k battle report. Sure. Alright, so welcome Fano to mission number two of the Chaos vs. Drukari campaign, uh, Māori Wargamer Battle for Ithaca system. Um, as the Chaos forces are in full retreat um, against the Dark Drukari raid that was launched against them, um, in this in this uh, in this battle report, we've got um, two units on the board there that's packed with the with Terminators and a Terminator Sorcerer and the Mighty Forge thing. So not even using a Battle Forged army because the forces have been whittled down. Very very cinematic, very story. Uh, driven in this one um, So the forces are looking to get out of here against a Drukari ambush um, All the forces have come out of nowhere To prevent the escape uh, so we just need to get my guys half a uh, third of my power level across the board here um, for a chaos victory Uh, see if we can withstand the hail of fire. We've got the mighty land raider here Super tank um, Filled with even tankier units in there. So Should be all right. We're doing the crucible of war mission uh, ambush from the um, Rule book under cover of darkness the attackers forces have prepared a deadly trap and are even now laying in wait for a convoy of enemy reserves uh, Heading for the front line, well in this instance, heading to escape. They hope to catch their foe unawares and destroy them utterly before they can escape. Um, so yeah, that's that's the purpose of this. Um, looking for vengeance here on the Avery world. Um, here's that beautiful kill team terrain. Paint it up. Oh, very nice. Always keeping up to date with all the latest and greatest from Warhammer. Saying this as well as we've uh, pre-ordered the Tooth and Claw box or something like that, the Gen Steeler Kill, uh, Space Wolf box. Um, again, providing you with the quality, we'll have that out for the next campaign after this one. So you don't want to miss all those cool new models in action. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it, our forces are assembled. Can the uh, Crimson Slaughter escape across? It's gonna be a long slog. Hopefully this can hold up, we've got a lot of uh, units, not a lot of heavy weapons options, so uh, that is in their favour. I'm going to drive straight through that line there and see if we can get the hell out of here for another um, Chaos Victory. So you don't want to miss a single second of that sweet action. My opponent, the Drukari, will be taking turn number one. Um, but before we go into that, let's take a closer look at the armies that we'll be playing with. Today. Leading the Crimson Slaughter, we have a Chaos Terminator Sorcerer Lord um, with a Combi Bolter and a Force Staff. Army is uh, non battle forged, so no command points. A five man Chaos Terminator squad with Combi Bolters, there's a Combi Mouser and a Combi Flamer in there, a Reaper Auto Cannon, Power Fist, and a Power Maw. A Forge Fiend with two Hades Reaper Auto Cannons or something like that. And a Chaos Land Raider with two twin LAS cannons, a Heavy Bolter, a Havoc Missile Launcher. And leading the Dark Eldar, the Raiding Force, we have three patrol detachments. We've got a Archon and two Succubuses. Two five-man squads of Hellions uh, with Hellglaves and uh, their little jetpack things have splinter pods. Five-man Scourge Squad with four Shard Card Binds and a Blast Pistol and a Power Lance. Three three-man squads of Reaver Jet Bikes with Heat Lances. And we have three Cabalite Warrior Squads, two five-man squads with Splinter Rifles. Uh, the squad has a Dark Lance and we've got ten here with Splinter Rifles and a Dark Lance as well. A Raider with a Dark Lance and Blade Veins. And a Venom with a Splinter Cannon and a Twin Splinter Rifle. Uh, and a five-man group of rats with weapons. Alright, and the Drakari turn one movement phase. Um, emptied out the city. Um, 
racing all their units along. Two speed demons zooming across the battlefield. Um, to surround their prey, the mighty Crimson Slaughter, I'm relying on invulnerable saves and um, high armor saves to keep us alive against sympathetic weapons. Can we survive or will we fail? Who knows? Um, yeah, look, that's that's it. Two, two units on the board. Um, this is either going to be a really quick game um, or these got all the Drakari gonna get minced absolutely. So I'm interested to see how it's gonna end. Well uh you gotta you gotta tune in here, Fano, as we go into the turn one shooting phase. Let's see some action. Alright, Fano, so the uh, the assault of the Drakari is coming in in uh very heavy, I think. A lot of the forces, but I, I don't think over not even half of the shot yet. But the Forge Fiend's on one wound left after getting hit by two heat lances. Nothing his invulnerable saves can do. We've got one free up save to make. Um, if he fails it, he's gonna be he's gonna die. Hopefully it blows up. Oh, he's safe. He's safe. We just need to pad for time in this video there, Fano, because it could be a quick one. Alright, Fano, so end of the shooting phase for the Drukari forces. Forge Fiend ended up getting taken down. Um so yeah, this could be, yeah, this, this could be a really quick game. Um, you might think my list is silly. Um, last week's filming of the game took so long just because there's so many Drakari forces. So I thought, hey, I'll make the smallest, I'll make the, a list, 50 power level, with the least amount of units I possibly could have. And this is it. Um, so that's just counterbalancing the lot of Drakari forces with a very small amount of um, Chaos forces. My opponent's gonna could potentially get a two and one two and one victory, maybe. He's gonna go into the charge phase and uh, got a lot of forces here waiting to get him. See if they can chop up the uh, land raider. All right, fine. So what a twist! What a turn of events. Um, as the land uh, as his raider charge into the um, land raider, um, Overwatch fire with my two twin last cannons. Managed to roll three sixes. Um, and then wounded, um, wounded, and they were 11 damage blowing up the, how much did the Raider have, 10? Ten. Oh, 11, rolled an 11, blew it up, his guys hopped out. So good, what a, what a game. First blood, <laughs> first blood to me. Um, and not even my turn. Right, we've got, we got the rest of these guys. Oh yeah, he killed that. Well hey, I killed you in Overwatch, hitting on sixes, that's like better than anything. Um, these guys are gonna try still charge in or are they where have they been scared off? No. Okay. Alright, final so end of Drukari turn one. Here is a launchless ambush on the planet of Omia Prime. Um They the Crimson Slaughter managed to weather the storm somehow. They're still alive and kicking. Um despite despite the, the vast numbers stacked against them. Um and now as they make their way to escape the planet, all the way at the very end of the board, um, we're going to turn one and see what they will do. All right, fine, so end of the movement phase for the Crimson Slaughter, turn one. Um, the Terminators have decided to evacuate. They've seen the, uh, the Forge Fiend get blown up on turn one, uh, and they're furious. They want to come out and kill, so, um, the sorcerer has leaped out. His um, Terminator retinue has uh, also leapt out of the Land Raider. Land Raider is still going to barrel forward and get the escape because uh, victory, if he even just him alone gets there, um, so he, he's going to make the drive across. Um, and these boys are going to come out and chop up. We're going into the psychic phase first. See some classic smites roll off uh, and some other beautiful shenanigans. You don't want to miss a single second. Alright, so end of psychic phase, ended up periling, um, losing a wound, but smited out two of these cavalites. So we're going to continue to slaughter in the shooting phase. Alright, final, so end of the shooting phase for the Crimson Slaughter. Look at the, look at the casualties. Two bikes gone, two hellions gone, two cavalites gone. Um, over here, a whole Reaver bike squad gone, thanks to the mighty Land Raider who also took down one Hallion over there. Um, 
So yeah, whereas, well, I, don't, I know it's too early to count my chickens. Um, probably leave my chickens not counted for now. Um, and I might count those chickens again come turn two. Um, but yeah, that was a whopper of a turn. We're going to go in for some charges. Um, get some get some more action in on them. Okay, so stay, stay with me for that, that part as well. All right, Fano, so all successful charges across the board. No damage taken. Even the Land Raiders decided to get in on this action uh, against the Hellions. So we're about to throw down and finish up turn one. All right, Fano, so end of um, Crimson Slaughter for turn one. Uh, the counter ambush. Um, two units of Reavers gone. Um, these guys survived their morale test, but three left alive. Um, these guys survived their morale, uh, lost the morale test and lost two. Um, and nothing happening over here. So, um, as the ambush is, is raging on, uh, looks like they've forgotten about their objective to escape and are just looking to kill as many as they can, um, which is the chaos way, so I'm proud of them. Um, but we'll go into the uh, Drakari turn two, see what they can do. All right, so movement phase, turn two for the Drukari. Scourges have dropped down onto the uh, landing pad. Um, this mob are moving across this way towards the innocent sorcerer. Um, he might actually die. We've got Cavalites fell out of combat. Hellions running over this way as well. Um, and the Terminator's ready to, ready to rumble, ready to weather the storm. Um, oh, even these Hellions over here did the runners. So let's see what happens. Uh, if any action uh, goes down. Um, yeah, we've got only three units left on the field. We've got some heavy firepower and definitely strength of numbers. Um, if they can take us down, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, can we survive another turn? Go into the shooting phase for the Drukari on turn two. All right, final so end of the shooting phase. Oh, you didn't hurt anything. I took one Terminator. Oh, okay. We took one Terminator out, uh, and we took six wounds off that with the Dark Lance. Um, 16 wounds, man. This thing is mad dog. Um, he's going to still keep alive and pumping uh, as he zips across the road and, and out there because all the forces are gone and the quick things are pretty worthless. So, see how he does. Um, going into my opponent wants to charge. Uh, he didn't learn his lesson last time, so that's cute. All right, so the charges went off. Um, opponent's down to three command points. He's got the Reavers and the Venom. Venom's not really anything to worry about. Um, and then he's got the Rax, the Succubus, and the Archon in against um, him. So I don't think he's going to survive for another Psychic Phase, unfortunately. All right, so the Archon, um, Slayer of Warlords. He... Um, he survived a deadly encounter with the Crimson Slaughter in the past and saw vengeance on them ever since. Uh, last game, he took down the mighty Demon Prince, um, sent that, that creature back to the warp, and he's entered into single combat with uh, Chaos Lord Drask of the Crimson Slaughter. His boys are standing around him there as the, as the showdown is going down. And slashing blades, four staff, Magic blasting out, wham, 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 and then, uh, and that's a victory. Another warlord's head added to uh, the collection of the mighty um, archon of this uh, of this unnamed cabal. I think I called it cabal of the black wing or something like that. So yeah, another victory for him. <laughs> All right, Fana, so the um, Drakari attack, turn two. Um, and um, the Yarkon and his, um, his, his warband, his, his little entourage, uh, successfully take down the Chaos Sorcerer, Chaos Terminator Sorcerer. Uh, we've got these boys here. Um, Land Raider didn't even blink an eye at the attacks that uh, came across it. Um, so yeah, we've got 
another unit down, two units left, a four-man Terminator squad, a 10 health left Land Raider. Um, so uh, things are, are getting even more spicier, spicier. Can the Drukhari um, win this ambush? I mean, they've already taken the head of the Warlord, so that is a win. Um, but we'll see what they do as the Land Raider continues his trip across the battlefield of Omea Prime. So the um, the mighty Land Raider about to, um, as we go into the movement phase for the Crimson Sword of the mighty Land Raider, uh, about to just get out of this combat and carve across the road, when all of a sudden, a rumble, an aftershock of, uh, of battles elsewhere. Oh, and it takes down a biker. Oh, we'll leave the biker alive. Um, oh no, shock horror. The shipping containers have collapsed and blocked the road. Oh, dramatic, what a twist. Who would have seen that coming? Now, you, I mean, this is a land raid. This is a super tank, so he's just gonna drive straight through it. No, no. Um, it's a bit of, bit of flavor, a bit of spice for the channel. Oh no. I'm not going to use my two twin las cannons to blast it to, to scrap. I'm going to have to drive around the long way. Oh, horror. We'll get back to you with the movement phase. All right, fine. So, um, a tremor, a quake has uh, rocked the shipping containers and blocked off the path, the easy path, to victory for the Crimson Slaughter. You, know, you can never plan these events, eh? Hey? Like, this, the, there's just a massive shake, you know? It's what I love, uh, keeps you on your toes. The Terminators are moving out this way. Um, might be a good idea for them to hop in there, maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, anyway, they're, they're piling up behind here. It's a pretty much a two straight paths to get out. Um, we'll see how he goes. Going into the shooting phase, but a lot of enemies on all sides ready to bar our way. So the mighty Terminator is going to have to set up a gun line and boom. Uh, shooting phase, Crimson Slaughter. All right, final so end of the shooting phase for the Crimson Slaughter on turn two, as they try and escape at another Drukhari ambush, uh, witnessing the loss of the um, Terminator Sorcerer Lord, um, the Warlord for the army. Um, they're, they're, they're stricken by grief or anger. Uh, and has blinded them, so these guys didn't do, went too effective. Land Raider again worth every single point that you pay for that. Wiped out another squad of bikes. Um, it's got so much firepower on it and um, the machine spirit that uh, doesn't make it minus one to hit. Just what a beautiful power. Um, still got some heavy weapons choices though. Dark Lance on that and one for that guy there. Um, so they're gonna keep them in a little bit longer threatening the Land Raider. Um, as he makes his escape out here where across the rest of the city pretty much abandoned We've got these guys waiting for something to happen who knows um, as that road is now blocked to anything but flying units uh, can we make our great escape um, we're gonna go into some try and throw off some charges all right fine that's the end of turn two the Terminators uh, got in a successful charge and took off three more wounds off the Venom. Um, and we swap over now back to the Drukhari forces. Um, I've taken out a lot of their heavy weapon threats. Um, I think all my hopes are in that Land Raider because if, if I can't do it, then it's just a long walk all the way back home. Um, but yeah, stay with us. All right, so these guys have finally decided to turn three movement phase, descending from the building. Pretty big jump. Okay. Kalyan zipping around as well. Trying to cut off uh, the Land Raider, but you know, with no strength weapon, uh, no AP weapons. Can I do much? Kalyan's as well. The ambush is coming around this way. The noose is closing. These two guys move forward. All this blob moving forward after the poor old Terminators, the flock of seagulls. 
flying over this way. Venom on its two wings doing the hard retreat, getting getting out of here. Um, kind of gone us the wrong way, mate. Land Raiders all the way over here. I think you really need to choose what you're going to do. Uh, going into the shooting phase for the Drukari forces, turn three, can they achieve victory? All right, Fano, so uh, a costly shooting phase there. We lost another Terminator and the mighty Land Raider down to four wounds. Um, still in that second weapon profile though. What a beauty. Imagine if this guy had uh, like a four or five up invulnerable save. That would be an absolute monster unit. Um, and then add on um, the regeneration of a wound per turn. Oh, what a beauty. Um, can we survive the onslaught? Uh, stay with me, we'll find out. All right, so um, charge has gone in. We've got four on the Land Raider. Um, Archon, Grax, Succubus, Succubus, all in on the uh, Terminators there. Uh, managed to take down two of the Rex and Overwatch. Um, see what damage they do and then wrap up this turn. End of Drukari on turn three. Um, three HQs, the Rex, just um, Archon's unstoppable. Eh? He's just pure mad dog, just, <laughs> just going mad dog into the everything that he can. Um, so they wiped out the, those Terminators. Over here, nothing happened. Um, well, we lost one wound, but that's it. Uh, still chugging on. I'm uh, counting my chickens before they're hatched, and I think I've got no chickens left. This will be my last turn, um, Chaos Turn 3. The Mighty Land Raider brought low on three wounds. Last profile moves only three inches at a time. Pulled out of combat. He's here, he's ready to, to blow up and die. Um, and yeah, we, we, we call the game there. This guy's, he's, he's done. He hasn't even crossed halfway across the board. And we still gotta go there. Thanks to, you know, this, how, how lucky for the Eldar that, that, that dropped down, eh? Um, yeah, we'll wrap up the game and... Uh, All right, Fano, so the ambush uh, by the Drukari forces on the... Uh, Retreating uh, Chaos Forces, the Crimson Slaughter, here on the Agri world of Omia Prime. Um, oh, devastating. Um, we took out a big number of, of units, so for, for what we had. Um, pretty, yeah, I, 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 was, I, was, I, was just, I was just having a bit of fun with this list. Um, Wanted to see if I could do anything. Probably better if I made a battle forge so I could get some command points because there's some vital rerolls that could have come in handy for me there. Um, but great game overall. Um, I'm, uh, I'm surprised that it went on as long as it did. I don't think I needed to pad out too much for time, um, as was expected. Um, but yeah, great game. Um, good to see the Drukari take a win. Um, you know, we want to give the Xenos a bit of. Uh, bit of respect, a bit of attention there um, on the channel. So they managed to take out a win for Xenos and uh, oh, it's great. And also helping clear Ithaca of um, Chaos Forces entirely. Um, so that's not too shabby. But um, but yeah, that's the end of this, uh, another battle report, Moldy Wargamer. Uh, currently on 131 subscribers. Shout out to you if you subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing, mate? Subscribe to the channel. I provide lots of great content. Um, you don't want to miss a single second of it. Um, you get some some classic dramatic twists, like the shipping containers falling over. Um, oh man, that was so good. I just thought of that on the spot, eh? Because I thought, man, it's going to be way too easy to get up there. So, oh, let's put that, drop those down. Worked out pretty nicely. Um, Otherwise, this thing would have sailed away 10, 10, and what, have to fight five of these guys. No thanks. Um, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Finally, make sure you're tuning in next week as it currently stands. One to Chaos, one to Drukari. So next game, the finale will be the tiebreaker. Um, will we be seeing any new units, you reckon? Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, so final one more one more battle between the Drukari and the Chaos Forces. And it'll be the last that you see of them uh, for the battle for Ithaca for the year. Um, 
next time you see them will be uh, in a new location, a new setting, uh, keep things fresh and exciting. So um, if you want to want to get your last Drukari Chaos fix, uh, next week will be um, your last opportunity. Uh, but if you miss any of their great action and their great stories, always welcome to go through my list of battle reports. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching. Leave comments, leave likes, yeah, comment what you liked or what you want to see, all that, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, uh, and, and we'll catch you next time with uh, some more quality action. I am the Māori Wargamer. As always, Fano. thank you for watching. Ka kite. Anna.